Have you ever eaten too much and thought, oh shoot, I did it again? Or maybe you're part of the clean plate club. You know, you're not finished eating until everything is off of your plate. I get people asking me, Neely, just tell me what to eat. But here's the thing. Sometimes it's not so much the what you eat, but it's the how you eat. That's what I'm gonna be talking about today. I'm Neely with Neely on Nutrition, and I want to help you make peace with food. I want you to get off of that diet roller coaster. Perhaps you're in this, um, you know, this restrict, deprive, and then binge cycle, and you do it over and over again. It's no fun way to live. You know, if you're in, on some kind of a program or doing some kind of a plan where you're allowed to eat this and not allowed to eat this, you will never have. Um, a good relationship with food. You'll never have a healthy relationship with food and food will always control you. Trust me, I know. <laughs> For many years of my life, I ate by some kind of a plan, some diet or program, whatever I was following at the time. My last diet was 30 years ago. And I remember like the instructions were to eat every two to three hours. And that way that would boost my metabolism and, and keep my furnace going and, and make me this food processing, um, fat burning, high energy, lean mass, building machine. No, I was following the rules, you know, not eating this and eating this. And it was no way to live. If you find yourself in that situation, I get it. I totally get it. I was following the rules, but I wasn't paying attention to whether or not I was hungry. This was on my plan. I was going to eat this regardless. Maybe you find yourself in that situation. Well, I have um, a solution for you. It's um, a simple solution. It's not the easiest um, and it does take a little bit longer in the short run, but once you get it, you get it. And you'll never have to decline an invitation again, saying, oh, I don't know if I can go because there's not going to be food there for me to eat. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I know that's just uh, the diet culture. So let me help you with the how to eat. Okay. In my last video, I talked about the two basic types of hunger. There is the, the physical hunger and then like everything else, <laughs> physical hunger and like emotional hunger. So in this video, I'm focusing on physical hunger. In another video, I will talk about emotional hunger and what to do in those situations. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that um, video when I, um, when I publish it. Physical hunger can manifest in various ways. It takes up to four hours for food to leave our belly, depending on what you eat. Maybe if it's just pure carbs, it'll be just a couple of hours. But when food leaves your belly, you get this, some people, not everybody, um, I do though, get this feeling in your belly, this gnawing sensation like, you know, your body wants some food. For other people though, it manifests in different ways. Maybe you get um, start to get you know a little tired, a little fatigued, or um, perhaps you get some mood changes, or that hangry feeling, you know that combination of hungry and angry. Um, but whatever it is, this is what will help you get on the path for better health and to get off the diet roller coaster. I want to introduce you to my hunger um, fullness scale. Now, there are a variety of, um, of tools like this available, but this is the one that I use for myself and, and with my clients. Um, but the hunger scale is just one tool of many that can help you eat more mindfully um, and get off the roller coaster of restricting and not eating those foods that you really like to eat, but you think you would overeat if you ate them. Uh, the more in touch you are with, um, with hunger and satiety, the less tendency you'll have to overeat. My scale is numbered between one and 10, and um, you never want to be at one end of the spectrum or the other. A one is like you're ravenous, you're famished, you are so hungry that if somebody says the wrong thing, you're going to bite their head off. A 10, on the other hand, is you are so uncomfortably full, you feel sick. I call it that Thanksgiving Day stuffed feeling. I'm um, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I ate that much. Ideally, I like to eat and encourage people to eat at about a three. And that is when you're hungry. It's clear that your body wants some food. You're getting uncomfortable, but not ready to bite somebody's head off. This is the ideal time to start eating. Eating slowly and then learning to stop at a seven when you're no longer hungry. Now, a seven is you're nourished and energized. You feel good, um, but it's not full because full actually can be just a few more bites. A full can, even if it's, an, this has happened to me, I mean, I'm eating, it's like oh, just a few more bites, but, it, but it's healthy, it's nutritious. And I go ahead and eat, it's like, oh gosh, darn it, I didn't need to eat those last few bites. So this is what this tool will help you. 
kind of start to identify that. When you're eating within this window of like three to seven, it will really help you. It's a tool that I use for myself and a tool that I use with my clients. When you start to eat mindfully and more intuitively, you'll get away from this restrict, deprive, binge cycle um, that often happens with diet culture. These are the three things I want you to do. Identify, am I physically hungry? Awareness and knowing is the key to success, the key to behavior change. Once you start to get in tune with what physical hunger feels like to you um, versus like emotional hunger. And again, I'll have a video for you that you can watch. And then once you identify that, then identify where are you? Where are you on the scale between one and 10? Um, are you at about a four or a three or a two, whatever it might be. And then if you've already eaten, then tune in. How am I feeling? Am I at a seven, an eight, I eat too much, am I at a nine? Whatever. Start to recognize that and then you'll start to know what a seven feels like for you. I want you to monitor this for three days. Uh, and as you get comfortable monitoring your hunger, you'll be more in tune and you'll be able to start eating at a three and then stop eating at about a seven. Um, and you'll you'll notice this. It's it's you'll just become more intuitive and mindful um, on eating occasion. Now, I do this. I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect, but um, the majority of the time I do, and it's helped me manage a healthy weight. And I know it can help you as well. I have a guide that you can that you can download. Um, link is in the description, um, but it also um, has a tracking sheet. So you can tune in throughout the day and just take notes of where you are throughout the day. In addition to the tracking sheet and the guide, I offer a number of different tips. And one of my favorite tips is, is this one. If you have a tendency to eat everything on your plate because you came from the clean plate club, I want you to do me a favor and do this tonight. Go ahead and portion your meal out, which you would normally might eat. But then what I want you to do is take a third of it away. Take a third of it off your plate and then you can eat what's on your plate. I bet you, you'll be surprised that you don't need that other third. If you're eating beyond comfort and feeling remorse, you owe it to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Do yourself a favor and download my guide here. Um, it's free. <laughs> uh, just download the guide and get you on the path of getting off of this diet roller coaster that you might be on. Thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.